So this year has been a really different year for you. It uh, seems like it's been a lot more difficult. It feels like Melee is kind of having a, a little bit of a change too. And you know, there's newer players like Zane and, and older players like Plup who are getting a lot better at a, at a much more accelerated rate. What do you think is changing within the Melee community? Uh, I feel like uh, what you're talking about is very true. We have a lot of up and coming players. Uh, Plup, Zane, Wizrope to name a few. Uh, and it's very exciting, I guess, for the spectators. Uh, Melee, for a long time, we've had like a very set group of people that you can expect, uh, to, you know, to make it very far, winning tournaments and so on. So for the game, I think it's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, it is true. It's been uh, tougher for me, tougher for every top player, to be honest. I feel like for me, it's a combination of people or players getting much better. And for roughly a year, I've kind of struggled, to be honest, with motivational issues. Uh, but it's something I try to deal with as best as I can. Uh, but I'm uh, happy uh, that I made top eight once again. So I wrote this like very in-depth feature on Hungrybox, and I got to spend a lot of time with him. And we talked about some of this and kind of what he was going through. And we talked about Evo two years ago as well, and the victory over you. You have been traditionally very stoic in your career. You don't let out a lot of emotion. You're very private. You, you said that you've been dealing with some emotional or motivational issues, and um, you know what? How do you keep that to yourself, and what type of support system do you build around yourself to, to kind of, I guess, fix that and make that better? I feel like it's, uh, I'm trying to take smaller, smaller goal approach, rather than like maybe looking at the big picture the entire time. I'm uh, probably trying to take it more on a one, one day to one day basis, like daily basis, uh, and trying to find like all the things that I really love with Melee. Uh, I played for a very long time, so I'm sure wow. that every player that I've played as long as I have have had these same issues. I'm pretty sure all kind of competitors go through like up and downs. Uh, this has been a pretty long down, but I'm hopeful that one day it will be back to where we were. I had somebody that said to me the other day in a reply to a comment on, on Reddit, they were said the, the Five Gods storyline is over. And uh, do you think that's true? Uh, depends on what, you defini what your definition of uh, the Five Gods storyline. If it's uh, them never losing to anyone outside of that group, then it's for sure over. But if you look at tournaments, it is very common for us to be like in top eights, for one of us to win tournaments. Uh, but Leffen and Plup especially, those two have like uh, spiced things up for sure. So I guess it comes down to definition. But I feel like everyone can agree on that the original gods are really good still, uh, but it's more upsets happening these days. Today you lost to Swedish Light, very close set, last talk. He's a player that, like we mentioned earlier, he's one of those players that's gotten consistently better. He's had a pretty good two years, getting better, going from in the 30s in the rankings to now 16. Kind of walk me through that game and, and how that went and how you ended up losing. Uh, I feel like it was a lot of different factors. Uh, Swedish uh, have gotten much better against Peach. Uh, for sure, and I kind of knew about that. Like, the thing is, especially here at Evo with like two out of threes and stuff like that, I went for a more risky approach to it all. If I had a few hours only preparing for Swedish, and that would be it for the day, I probably would have gone Fox from the start. But I knew if I win, I most likely have Mango, and I want to play Peach against Mango. So I went for the more risky option against Swedish, hoping it would pay off. And when he did it, I did switch to Fox. And not to take anything away from Swedish because he very clearly earned that win. But it was my two first games of Fox the entire day. I probably shouldn't have gone as risky with it. I probably should have practiced Fox like five or ten percent at least to like. Yeah. But yeah, it, it backfired and it happens. Uh, but yeah, two out of three, so uh, yeah. upset city. I was about to ask about that. It's two or three, it's a different format than most of the time you play. How do you think that affects the way the game works? I feel like for Melee, it honestly works really bad. And I've said it for many years. Like back in the day for Melee, like when I started going to the US, uh, Melee tournaments actually very often had best of three all the way to top eight. And it was me and a few others that really pushed for more best of fives because we think it's a better format. And if you want the best players to make it far, then best of five is objectively better. If you really only want the upsets, why don't we only play best of one then? I feel like a lot of people that support best of three, they're only talking about increasing upsets. But why don't we play best of one then? Uh, another thing that is mainly specific compared to a lot of other fighting games is that our rule set actually changes between best of three and best of five. Where in best of five, you're not allowed to ban any stage, but in best of three, you are. And me personally, if I play against someone like Mewtwo King, for example, I think one challenge of playing against Mewtwo King is playing against him on FD. Right. 
at all EVOs Mewtwo King has ever been to, I don't think he has gotten to play FT a single time. For example, it's other strong players on strong stages. Uh, so I feel like also in a 3 out of 5, if you lose one match, it's not like the craziest big deal. But I feel like you should have to play against your opponent on their strongest stage. And in best of three, that simply never happens. So in melee, I think two out of three is bad. I have always been bad and will always be bad. But I understand that Evo can't run three out of five for all events. So we kind of like understand the situation we're in. But obviously, if someone told, asked us, do you want three out of five? I'm sure by far most people would say, yes, we want three out of five. But most masters understand that it's not going to happen and we have to accept it for what it is. About 30 minutes before your match and a little bit after the one against Swedish, uh, Melee was the highest viewed game on Twitch across this entire venue. Big, bigger than Dragon Ball, bigger than Street Fighter. And a lot of people were attributing to the fact that there was a higher risk for uh, better players to get upset. Do you think that even though it is a little bit worse or, and the top players don't like it, do you think it's healthy for the game to kind of add that, I guess, intrigue uh, for the viewer? Maybe. The thing is, Melee is a really consistent game, so in one way I could see the point of view. But once again, I feel like it's more important that Smashers, like players, they get truly, truly better. I personally value a win in 3 out of 5 much higher than 2 out of 3. So, like, long term, it's not about being able to win one set. It's about being able to get to, like, clubs level, for example, when you can, like, consistently take 3 out of 5s against anyone in the world, more or less. So, and the thing is with like resources in Melee, like net play, more tournaments, uh, etc. I feel like we are getting to that point, so I don't feel like two out of threes are as necessary to force upsets. This is going to be a really hard run for you uh, to, to make it farther into this event. What do you think you have to do to, to maybe become the three-time Evo champion? Soul searching, soul searching for sure. I don't know, I always try to get as much sleep and go over my uh, potential matches for tomorrow and try to come as prepared as I can. It's gonna be really rough, but I have won Evo twice, so I know I have what it takes to win three times. We were talking about how some top players haven't adapted to kind of the way the, the game is playing now. Uh, looks like Hungrybox has, he's been pretty damn good. Um, if you face him again, something you've done on that same stage more than once, what do you think you have to do to beat him? I can't. I can't go in detail about that, but I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good, uh, pretty good game plan uh, against him. I'll be more prepared than I was at Low Tier City. That's for sure.